Welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. And I'm going to answer a question I get asked all the time. What is the number one best exercise for weight loss. If you don't want to work out every day, if you don't want to spend hours upon hours in the gym, all you have to do is this one exercise a few times a week to maximize weight loss. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things are also in the description box. So let's jump in to the number one exercise to maximize weight loss. When we're exercising, we want to make sure every single minute counts, that we are getting the maximum rewards for the sweat equity we're putting in. Really, truly, any movement of your body, any exercise, any workout, strength training, cardio, it's all going to help you reach your weight loss goals. It's all going to help benefit your body and your overall health. But like everything else, there's one exercise that really has the biggest impact on weight loss, and that's what I want to talk with you today about. Number one, best exercise for weight loss is called HIT training. That stands for high intensity interval training. This kind of exercise is incredible. It's a comprehensive full body workout that will kick your whole body into high gear. HIIT training will help you burn a lot of calories and target a variety of different muscle groups. If you're trying to lose weight, it is so incredibly important to introduce strength training and resistance training. And with a HIIT workout, you actually get a mix of cardio and strength training. I do HIIT training three times per week. I actually attend a local boot camp. We work out outside year round at 5 a.m. and it's a HIIT training workout. One thing, how you kind of know if it's HIIT training is it's going to include, again, both cardio and some strength training, whether that's upper, whether that's body weight training, weights, kettlebells, dumbbells, medicine balls, any type of strength or resistance training in alongside cardio. And also you'll know it's HIIT training if your heart rate does this. If your heart rate goes up, it levels out, it goes down, and it does that through the entire workout. And you want an overall average heart rate at the end of your workout of 125 or more. That's going to put you in what is known as a cardio workout zone. So look at your watch, pull up your workout. It should tell you what your average heart rate is. Not your highest heart rate, not your lowest heart rate, but your average heart rate. And you're looking for that to be again 125 or higher. So how can you implement HIIT workouts into your routine if you don't have a HIIT workout class available. I will tell you if you can attend a HIIT workout class, I highly recommend it. If anything, go to a few classes, kind of learn how they structure the workout to make it a HIIT workout, and then it is something that you can do at your own at home or at your local gym. If you tend to do stationary weight lifts with dumbbells or kettlebells, do a few burpees on the side. If running on a treadmill is more your speed and that high intensity cardio work is your go-to, maybe Maybe put in a few weights or resistant bands on the side. You want to do interval training. That's part of what is in the term HIT, high intensity interval training. So like they said, if you're lifting weights, you're doing dumbbell curls. In between your dumbbell curls, do something that's going to elevate your heart rate, like those burpees, jog in place. If you're next to a piece of cardio equipment or you have cardio equipment at home, hop on that for a few minutes. The whole goal of HIT training, again, is to elevate your heart rate, level that out, dip it down, and do that throughout the entire workout. And another big piece of HIIT training is engaging different muscle groups. That's why it's important to have your HIIT training, have cardio and strength training. So you're engaging all of those different muscle groups and you're really pushing it hard when you elevate your heart rate and you're taking it a little bit easier in the downtime. Remember to break every few minutes and perform movements that engage different muscle groups. Consider setting a timer to remind yourself when it's time to HIIT. Even if it's just for a short time, pushing your body to fully engage and do something hard can push you into that fat burning zone. That's another great thing about HIIT training is the zone. There are five zones, sometimes six zones, depending on who you ask, when it comes to cardio. Zone one is when your heart rate is fairly low. Zone five or six is going to be when your heart rate is at its max. When you're doing HIIT training, your heart rate will go through all of the zones. There should be times when you're hitting the highest zone, and there should be a lot of time that you kind of fall in the middle, zone two, zone three, and when you're getting started or winding down your workout, you may see zone one and zone 
too. It's really important to make sure that you're watching your average heart rate during your workout as well as the different zones that you end up in. Another great resource for HIIT training is YouTube. Google HIIT training workouts and you will find so many videos. You can do these again at home at your local gym. If you can find a class, take a class. But my recommendation and the recommendation for HIIT training is two to three times per week for maximum result. I will tell you that this not only will help you shed fat, lose weight, but it will completely transform and resculpt your body. It has been the best decision I ever made for transforming my body after 140 pound weight loss. So I highly, highly recommend implementing HIIT training to maximize your weight loss results. Let me know down below, do you do HIIT training? Is it something that you want to implement? Let me know down below. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching as well as links and discounts to my favorite things. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!